What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and a new video! Today we're going to talk about chest training and triceps training. I have put together a workout with seven exercises, like the most common exercises when you train chest and triceps. We're going to go through the wrong version versus, I got it now, the right version. So first wrong and then right. If you want to train this whole session later, you can because in the description below, I have written the whole workout with sets and reps and everything you need. So let's go to the gym. So the first exercise of this session is going to be dumbbell chest press. A common mistake when we do chest presses is that we don't do the full movement in the exercise. As you can see, I'm not going the whole way down. I'm just doing it like half the exercise. The second mistake that we do is that we are lifting the head up. When going down in the press, you are lifting up the head like this. And if you have heavy weights, this can actually be really hurting for both your spine and your neck. So what we want to do is to take control over the exercise, push up your chest, go down with the weights and then press them up. As you can see, I'm going down to the side of my buoys and then I press up the weights again. Also, when you are in the top of the exercise, squeeze the chest. If you're having problems with finding the right contact in this exercise, my tip is to use a resistant band. Place your hands like this and then cross it over your back. At first, you can lie down and just Feel how the resistant band is pulling you back, so in the top you have to squeeze. And when you are using the dumbbells together with the resistant band, I promise you that you are going to feel the contact that I am talking about. The squeeze in the top, because when you are in the top, the resistant bands are pulling you back and you have to squeeze the chest in the top to maintain that position. We are moving over to the next exercise, and this is the dumbbell flies. This exercise is really good to find the right contact in your chest, so if you have problems with finding the contact, I would recommend to start your chest workout with this exercise. The goal with this exercise is to get a stretch all over your chest, but the common mistake that we do when performing this exercise is to have two heavy weights. So as you can see, I am using two heavy dumbbells for my strength in this exercise, so it gets more of a press. You can see that I am bending over my arms because it's too heavy, I can't get it up. So what we want to do is to take control over the exercise and lower the weights at first. And then when the exercise is performed right, we want to have as straight arms as we can. A little bit bend over at the elbows, but this is the right way to do the exercise. You can see when I'm down at the bottom, I get a stretch all over the chest. And when I am in the bottom, I have to use my whole chest to press up the weights. A good tip is to aim for the little fingers that they are gonna meet at the top. So you go down and then aim for the little finger in the top. The third exercise in this session is incline dumbbell presses. A common mistake when doing incline presses is that you are lifting more with your shoulders than your chest. So as you can see, when I'm going down, my elbows and my shoulders are too close to my ears. And what we want to do is to lower the shoulders going from this position down to this. Push up your chest and then push up the weights. And I promise you that you will feel the right contact in the chest instead of the shoulders. Next exercise is a favorite of mine and it's kind of close to the incline press with dumbbells. But in this case, we're gonna lift 
in a narrow press and using a weight plate. This exercise isn't that hard to do, but the focus in this exercise should be to press up with your chest and squeeze in the top. So we wanna take control over this exercise. So go slowly down, press up the chest, and when you are at the top, squeeze the chest. This is an exercise that you can do many reps of to feel the right contact, but when you do, it's so, so good. And it, it's also a really good exercise to start with if you don't wanna use the dumbbells. We are gonna move over to triceps and the first exercise, cable pull down with a rope. The cable pull down is actually a hard exercise to do. It looks easy, but it is kind of hard to do it right. And it has so many different ways of performing it. If you ask me, this is a really common mistake that you do. You're having too much weight on and you're pressing with your upper body more than your triceps. Number two is to swing down the weights like this. Also, when the weights are too heavy, you swing them down and work a little bit with your lats. And the third mistake is to do short reps like this and you're not locking out the elbow. So we wanna take control over the exercise once again and we wanna work with only the triceps. So I'm locking my upper body and just press down the weights like this. And to get that burning contact, stop at the bottom for like one second and then go up again. No swinging, just controlled and strict reps. Next triceps exercise is the dumbbell pushback. When this exercise is performed wrong and a common mistake that we do is to swing the weights. As you can see, I have no control over the reps when I'm doing it like this. I'm just swinging the weights. I'm not using my tricep that much. This is a heavy exercise, so my tip is to choose a lower weight, lock your triceps, and then push back the weights like this. Now you can see that I am only working with my triceps and the triceps is the one that are lifting the weights up. Last exercise of this session is gonna be dips and we are gonna do them on two benches. A common mistake when doing this exercise is to perform it like this. As you can see, I have too much air between my back and the bench. So what we wanna do is to move the bench a little bit closer. Put your hands as narrow as you can to your hips and have the bench as narrow as you can to your back. Straight legs and then go down. And when you are at the top, squeeze your triceps. This is also a killer exercise for your triceps. And if you wanna advance this exercise more, you can place weight plates in your knees so it gets a little bit more heavier to get up. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I hope that you liked this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Till we see each other next time. Have an amazing day. Bye.